Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Regular viewers will know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. Today isn't a review, today is a short comparison, kind of comparison, between two different lenses. Now I've got um, a decent lens fitted to my Nikon Z6, which is a full frame camera, and I've got a Canon lens fitted to my Canon M6 Mark II. And they're the two lenses that I'm comparing, and I'll tell you which ones they are in just a moment. But the Canon M6 Mark II is filming over here, um, and I'm actually looking down the lens of the Canon M6 Mark II, and then over here is the Nikon Z6, of which I'm filming um, uh, the other angle, well, I'm trying to keep them fairly close, but we're not doing a really good job. I mean, I've got an M6, uh, sorry, a Z6, a Nikon Z6 in the middle, it's kind of a wide shot, and I'm picking up all three cameras via my um, little Osmo Pocket, which I'm using. I'm actually using the Mimo app to control them. You can see that there. That's the Mimo app that I'm using to control the little Osmo Pocket. Okay, so now what I've got fitted to the Canon M6 Mark II is the Canon Nifty 50. And it was 94 quid, so it was silly not to buy it. Now, it's an EFS or EF lens. Um, so, yeah, it would be an EF lens, wouldn't it? Because it's full frame. I get really confused between all this full frame and uh, uh, APS-C denotions. It's like Sigma, DC for... A crop sensor APS-C and DG for full frame gets really confusing. Nikon's DX and FX, isn't it? I'm not sure what the Canon is, um, even though I've got the M6 Mark II. Um, so I've got the Nifty 50 f1.8 fitted to me Canon M6 Mark II via the EF2M adapter, because obviously it won't fit natively to the M6 Mark II, it has to go via the adapter. And it works great because the autofocus works great, the aperture, exposure, everything else works absolutely excellently. And the dual pixel autofocus on the M6 Mark II is wonderful. One thing I do love about that, it holds the focus beautifully. Well, I'm hoping it does, but it does, it does, yeah, honestly, it holds the focus beautifully. So if you put something in front of a lens, I don't know why we all do this, but we do. Um, it should pick up on that and then snap straight back into my face. So that's the Nifty 50 on the Canon M6 Mark II, which is an APS-C sensor. That's fine for video. Uh, that's classed as super 35 mil in Sony terms, from what I can gather, um, where the full frame sensor, the Nikon Z6, reads the whole information off a sensor. It doesn't do pixel binning or anything like that. So you get a really crisp 4K signal out of a Z6. But I think the M6 Mark II is very good as well, you know. Um, but the Z6 has got fitted my uh, 85 mil F mount, 85 mil uh, F1.8 fitted to the Z6. So they're kind of similar-ish because um, the 50 mil on the M6 Mark II, you you still with me, are you? Because I'm confused. Um, the 50 mil on the M6 Mark II is about 75 mil, isn't it? 75, 80 mil in full frame terms. So I've kind of got them fairly, fairly well matched. Um, and they're both set to f1.8. Well, I think they are. Because it's an F mount lens, I have fitted it to me Z6 via the FTZ adapter. And again, even using that adapter, it retains the autofocus, the um, aperture, etc., etc. It's a really nice combination and works really, really well. In the middle, I've got my other Z6, which has just got my 24 Z mount, 24 to 70 lens on. Um, and that's just getting a generic wide shot, really. Um, and then, as I say, I've got my Osmo pocket at the back here, which I'm hoping, yeah, it looks like you can just see the three, you can just see the three cameras. The little M6 Mark II, I'm using its own flip up little monitor. That's quite nifty, actually, but it, you don't have to rig monitors up. To be honest, I normally would, though because I like a bigger monitor so I can see more clearly what I'm doing. Um, but for this purpose, um, that would be absolutely fine. So there we go. I'm looking at now the uh, M6 Mark II. That's the Nifty 50, Canon Nifty 50. And um, I think you'll find, I haven't, obviously, I won't know what it looks like until I edit it, but I think you'll find that looks uh, pretty damn good. And then here is the uh, Nikon Z6 with the 85mm. There we go. Thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate you watching this. I hope you enjoy it. 
and uh, stay tuned to my channel if you are interested in camera reviews, audio reviews and this kind of malarkey. Thanks very much for watching this video. If it is, has been helpful, please hit the like button. And uh, if you want to subscribe, please subscribe. It does help me grow the channel. Really appreciate that. And once again, thanks very much for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.